Bro, I was sitting there the whole time lemonade was being made. <laughs> Even Taz right. is fine. Taz be making crazy beats still. <laughs> Estimate how many songs do you think get made per day in the house? Yo, what up, guys? It's Little Spirit, and today you're gonna find out what it's like being signed to Internet Money. Yeah, I'm chilling with One Track Mind. I'm here with One Track Mind. With one Track Mind. One Track Mind. We lit. <laughs> So first off, uh, how did Internet Money actually find you? So the story is basically um, Taz was looking for new artists. They were all in the car looking for new houses. And then John, my A&R, was playing Taz new music and stuff. And I guess they'd gone through like five or ten songs or whatever. And then they landed on my song. And then he was like, oh, run that back. And then they just played that shit on repeat. And then he was like, okay, cool. We found one. And he DM me on Instagram. And I woke up one morning and I was like, oh, what the fuck? I look at my notifs and I saw check DM a comment on my picture from Taz. And I was like, oh shit, it must be like a fan account or something. So I click it and I was like, oh no, it's verified. <laughs> it's really him. So I checked my DMs and he was like, yo, ugly is crazy. Like, let's work, let's meet up, all this shit. And I was like, okay, fire. And I met up with them. We literally clicked like that. And within two weeks, I was signed. Like my deal was done. That's dope to tell. So like you said within <laughs> two weeks you were signed. Like what was the process like between when you guys met and like actual signing? Was it like a bunch of recording sessions? Yeah, it was literally basically like a trial, which is like a pretty good system that we use for new artists. It's like you have like a week, two weeks to like make a bunch of songs, just kind of express like who you are, like personality wise as an artist, show your style, just kind of like showcase yourself. You know what I mean? Like see how well you click with the whole team and everyone. And if you're a good match, you stay. If you're not, you go. I honestly, very good way of weeding out the people that aren't, you know, up to the part. I get it. Um, so now that you are, you know, officially internet money, um, what's the recording process like? We obviously have some crazy stuff going on over there. So what's the process like? Yeah, it's crazy because our house is like a label. Everything is like in-house. Like we have engineers. The whole house is filled with producers, instrumentalists, everything like literally you can i could just walk up to someone in the house right now and make a song with them if i want to that's crazy that's actually crazy um and obviously internet money is a massive collective they work with some huge artists um yeah. who are some of the artists that you have met through internet money that you know i mean that really speak to you and you got along with well honestly bro the thing is is just like whenever you're just in LA and around and working and shit you kind of just meet everyone like I've I don't even know because I've just like been around like a lot of people you know what I mean like I don't really even like realize it anymore or like care or think about it <laughs> that's dope that's dope okay cool that means they uh they have some solid links in LA in general just had some solid links that's dope um yeah, bro that's sick. Um, and obviously, uh, Internet Money has some some placements on some massive songs. You know, like "Fuck Love" for uh, for X and Trippy. They got uh, "Lucid Dreams," "Lemonade" that recently dropped. What is yep. the biggest recording session that you've actually been in? Bro, I was sitting there the whole time "Lemonade" was being made. <laughs> That's crazy, crazy. Any uh, any you know in in recording session story time you got for us? I mean, honestly, it was kind of put together probably differently than you'd imagine. It was like more of a everyone do their thing and then every all the parts meet in the middle and we like, not we, I wasn't a part of it, but like Nick, Alec, Henry, Etru, all, all the people that were on it, like took all the vocals, made it. It was, it was pretty lit, but I don't know, bro, I'm in songwriting sessions like four times every week because I'm an artist and a songwriter also because, you know what I'm saying? I'm signed to Internet Money as an artist, but I'm also signed to Universal as a songwriter, so. That's dope. That's dope. What the, what what songs do we know that you have uh, credits, radio credits on? I only have one. Or, no, I have a, I think I have three credits out right now. I have two Alec Wigdahl songs, which is just my bro that I wrote with him, and then uh, one Coil Array and Gunna song. That's dope. I actually know that track. That, that goes hard. Um, 
So uh, when when it comes to actually working with internet money, as you mentioned earlier, you guys have a ton of producers, you know, just walking around. Um, yep. Who's your, your favorite producer to work with from the team? <laughs> Damn, you you got me. Um, honestly, bro, I I have a lot of favorites: Nick, Rio, Ov, Cody, uh, Alec. Even is an amazing producer. Henry Nash, like bro, there's literally like so many fucking MJ. There's so many fire fucking producers, bro. Even Taz right. is fine. Taz be making crazy beats still. <laughs> <laughs> CEO, but still, he's still bodying it. Yeah, I like that. Um, all right, cool. Um, and Internet Money obviously has a great uh, relationship with Lyrical Lemonade. The song for Lemon, the video for Lemonade came out on the Lyrical Lemonade channel along with Lucid Dreams and a bunch of the other songs that Internet Money played yeah. a big role in. Um, so can we expect a little spirit lyrical lemonade collab anytime soon? Um, I just did an interview with lyrical lemonade that you can go check out if you want. And also, um, like there's definitely a lot of lemon, uh, lyrical lemonade blog posts for my songs and stuff, which I appreciate so much. Um, and as far as like a video, yeah, I would love to do a video with them. That's the goal. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. Have you linked with uh, with Cole or anyone on the team that's kind of like on that video side of things? Um, I don't really know anyone on the team. I know Jake. He's cool, but I don't really know anyone else. Okay, cool. You know, always room for growth. I'm looking forward to see it happen. Um, so I need you to do me a favor right now. Walk me through how the house is set up. You know, uh, you obviously, you know, you have your own spot, but you said there's a ton of artists and producers, engineers walking around. Um, what's it like? You know what I mean? How many studios in the house? How, how's it done? All right. Basically, we have upstairs, which is like our big ass backyard with like all our shit. And then like our living room and kitchen, which are fucking massive. And then the low and then the middle level is two like fully set up like studios and then another living room. And then me, Nick, and Cody's bedrooms. And then me, Nick, and Cody all have a studio in our bedroom also. And then Taz's room is upstairs too. And then there's a third story downstairs, which is movie theater, gym, um, and just like a, a little bit more space. Bathroom, oh, and like garage. I don't know, bro, we got a pretty big house. <laughs> no, that's super dope. Honestly, it sounds sick. Um, <laughs> and uh, here's a question that I know you might have trouble answering. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say estimate. How many songs do you think get made per day in the house? On average. Um, I don't know about in the house, but just like how many songs does internet money make a day in general is probably like, I don't know, bro. We probably like. 100 plus more than 100 no nah, probably like yeah more than 150 beats and loops and probably another like 20 songs yeah that's crazy that's actually crazy oh wow i don't um, even fucking know how many beats and loops get made to be honest because like rio makes like 20 30 beats a day census makes like 20 30 beats a day like we have hella producers that make like 20 beats every day do they and have, we have like no, bro. They just only make beats ever. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you guys have it on deck. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know what I mean? Like, you got a lot of, like, you know, really well-established people coming in and out the house um, all the time, obviously, uh, which could lead to some crazy stuff going on. Um, what's the craziest thing that's ever happened in the house during your time there? Honestly, I don't know, bro. Every day is something new to expect i don't know what the craziest thing that's happened at the house is but there's always something happening <laughs> fair definitely fair you have any example offhand that you could give us uh, uh, i don't even know i don't know honestly like no like it's just there's just always someone different here there's always a different fucking artist or different fucking i don't even know bro but there's just always some shit i know when i wake up in the morning and get out of my room and walk upstairs there's gonna be some shit happening <laughs> that's dope that's a cool way to live um all right uh so you were on the track devastated which is on for the storm the first ever internet money album um can we expect another album anytime soon oh of course 
I think Taz is already like talking about it all the time on Twitter and everything too. Like he's, but yeah. Can we expect this view on it? I can't say that for certain, but I would hope so. But I can't say. All right, fair. Too fair, early. Fair. Too early to know. Definitely, definitely. We're all looking forward to it. Um, and here's the last question. Uh, kind of close it off. What's your favorite part of being like a part of Internet Money? My favorite part is that these are like my coworkers, but they're also my brothers, and I can depend on them when it comes to helping me make good music. But I can actually also depend on them for like real life, and that's what makes it special. Yo guys, Lil Spirit here with One Track Mind, and I just answered all your questions about being signed to Internet Money. Zuli Bettis is unexpected. Running low on the go, but you haven't rested. In my hand on the dirt, but I'm resurrected. I done made a few hits so they get the message. Bitch in the back of the function. She gets straight decent class and let me teach.